Let's build a project that could actually be quite useful. It's an oscilloscope. Before you start though, you have to realize that in order to get the best results, you have to get the best frame rate possible. So the best frame rate in motion is 60 frames per second. No matter what size you use for your project, you should go with the highest frame rate. That will emulate a 60 hertz monitor for this effect. We'll fix the duration when we get in here. Open a new project. And the uh, first thing I like to do is just go ahead and add the audio. I'll just use the audio uh, that I use for the demo. And I'm going to adjust the length of this project by clicking on this icon and switching over to the project length and then just dragging on this number until I see the end of the audio right there and then just drag out the play range now everything I add to this project will have this length I'm just going to start by building the interface which is go to generators and put in a grid and in the inspector uh, we'll just change the line width to 1 and the background width to 60 and the background height to 60. And the reason why I chose 60 is because 60 is a divisor for the other lengths that will be used in this and it, it becomes a good reference for measure. We'll set the background color to this kind of dark green uh, to give the monitor a little glow and the line color to another green somewhere around there then we'll go ahead and draw a circle and if you have the rulers on you can go to the zero zero mark here on the grid hold down the option key and the shift key and I want to go out about one two three four lines and a little over uh, to the group I'm going to add an image mask and drag the circle into the image mask I'm going to duplicate the circle turn on the copy turn off the fill turn on the outline and you can mess with the color if you want I'm going to go back to the circle tool go back to the center and draw basically a very small dot go into properties and make sure it's centered up I'm going to turn this into an emitter and I actually want the emitter to be below the circle the outline so command right bracket and I can move this up over the emitter. In the emitter properties to the position Y I'm going to add an audio behavior and then with this drop down I'm going to add either ditch digging which is the name of the piece or master it doesn't matter which. I recommend you let this go through and finish Right now, Motion is analyzing the audio and creating keyframes. I already know I want to smooth the peaks and I scale this to 360 and move the emitter down. I can move the emitter directly down by holding the command and shift keys and typing the down arrow. And we can line up the minimum and maximum there. So if we take a small listen. Okay. Let's go into the emitter and turn the emission range to zero and the speed to zero. 
and turn up the birth rate to 2000. Okay. We're going to turn the life down to about a quarter of a second. And now we need to get this moving on a retrace. And the best way to do that is go back to properties and for the X parameter, we're going to add parameter behavior, oscillate. We're going to change the wave shape to sawtooth so that the wave will draw from left to right and then snap back to the left again to do uh, the next cycle. I'm going to set the amplitude for the oscillate to 180. And you see that it fills up this range from this left line to this right line. I'm going to set the speed to 35 for this because this piece has a tempo of 140. If I divide 140 by 2, I get 70. And I'll get two cycles. And if I divide 70 by 2, I get 35 and I get four cycles. And now you can see, since I've got four distinct cycles for the uh, motion path, the tempo is correct. If I go any off on either side, you can see this just turns into noise because the peaks drift over time. So now I've determined what the tempo is. If I go to 70, this is what it looks like. Which is pretty cool. Alright, but I like it at 35. Command slash will turn off the overlays and I'm going to go back into the emitter and dress this up a little bit. I'm going to go into colorize and turn this into green. For opacity over life, I found that I like to just go ahead and let the trace fade. I can move the location a little bit more that way. And that's a little large, so I'm going to scale to something, whatever you like, and add a glow. I'm just going to leave the radius at 10, opacity maybe 1.2 thereabouts, threshold 0.4, softness 0.4. Okay, not bad. When we go to the beginning, we notice that it starts off in the center line and that's not exactly where we want to go so if we open up the audio timeline and move the playhead to the beginning of the audio I'll just tap this okay that's the first frame it goes up so I'm going to back off right there and trim the emitter to start there and I'm going to go back into the oscillate behavior and adjust the phase Holding down the Option key and dragging makes this go very slow. And you notice the phase here is at basically minus pi, so I'm just going to fill that in. 1416 is close enough. Okay, you can learn a lot from this. This actually functions as a valid oscilloscope. You can tweak all kinds of things like the speed of the refresh, like I showed you before. I could go to 140, which is the tempo of this piece.
it just looks a little better here you can stretch out the life if I go to a half second or longer whatever you like uh, you can do all kinds of things to this to customize it uh, there's even a way to get rid of this retrace unfortunately it would lengthen this lesson to more than twice what I've already done so there you go I hope you found this useful I'll catch you on the next one